Nanotechnology has taken engineering to new scales, but how has the time resolution changed with these scales? Testing in nanoscale has recently become much more time resolvable through the use of high-speed, high-resolution data acquisition systems. Our project uses the National Instruments PXIE 1071 data acquisition system to significantly speed up measurements taken with a scanning probe microscope. To start, a scanning probe microscope moves a probe across the surface of a test chip to map its topological or electrical characteristics. These microscopes take readings in the dozens of kilohertz and average thousands of measurements to achieve useful resolutions. Rather than the existing system running at tens of hertz, our system can sample at megahertz. This speed will allow researchers to identify device behavior happening at those speeds as well. Our hardware software system interfaces with the existing test setup to capture large nanoscale datasets. To sample this data from a scanning microscope test, we use the National Instruments Data Acquisition System. The DAC itself is programmed in LabVIEW to capture either electrical or topological data at 4 MHz sampling frequency and 16 bits of resolution. The DAC also captures the excitation signal and tip position. This data is stored in NI's efficient TDMS file type. Some of the electrical tests run on this machine will require sensitive current readings on the order of a nanoamp. The existing system included a transconductance amplifier that turned these tiny currents into reasonable voltages for the ADC, but the bandwidth of this amplifier was only sufficient for the low speed measurements of the existing system. To combat these challenges, we designed a new amplifier board to achieve the same gain requirements with a much improved bandwidth while only sacrificing a moderate amount of the signal to noise ratio. To start working with this large amount of data, we needed to place it into a data structure that reflects what location on the test chip it was taken with the scope. The granularity of this positioning is set by the researcher in our graphic user interface with several other measurement parameters that allow for a variety of tests to be run with this system. Once the test is run and the data is localized, processing can be applied to help the researcher analyze this data. We start by taking the normalized Fourier transform at each location to see how that area responded to the excitation signal. This response is then clustered over the test surface to reveal the most interesting areas after a threshold has been applied. The researcher can watch a color map video of these clusters or they can spot check them at the frequency of their choosing. This project allows researchers to see new resolutions in time as they peer into their increasingly small devices. Dynamic behavior is now discernible with a scanning probe microscope using the relatively cheap method explored in this project of adding a third-party data acquisition system. The rest of our project ensures that the researchers using this machine will find a friendly user experience that captures the high resolution and high speed measurements as advertised with the added benefit of some automated analysis in the form of clustering and its visualization.